and we are back guys with another video so in this video guys i'm going to show you how we're going to replace the rear brakes on this mercedes-benz geo 450 2014 model yeah just the rear ones you know because i'm pretty sure i showed you uh the front brakes so i'll probably put a link up here for you guys if you guys want to see the front brakes and the front discs as well yeah i don't remember if i did two videos or one video but yeah you guys need to check those out as well if you guys want to see how to replace the front disc and the front uh, brake pads as well so for this video we're gonna install the akibono you know those nice sportier fancy brake pads yeah because my light on the dashboard came on maybe like a month ago and i should have replaced those brakes earlier but you know you guys know my bmw project so yeah <laughs> i'm almost there close enough <laughs> you know at least so i can get you know the car out of the garage you know and put my car in because my car you know it's screaming hey i need attention so yeah <laughs> so we need to give her attention and some love so akibono brake pads then I'm using these hooks. Um, I saw them on FCP Euro, you know, for your brake calipers. I always do something weird with my brake calipers. This time I decided to spend, you know, the 10 bucks or whatever to get those so I can hook it up. I'll show you how to use those. And then this thing right here is a ratchet. You know, when you start tightening it or loosening it, I haven't used it yet, but basically, you know, it separates. So that's gonna help us to push the pistons on the brakes out and about and then one more thing guys don't forget you know we need to pop this cover you know over here so we can see the tank for the brakes i replaced that maybe like two years ago and now it seems dirty again so i don't know maybe i'll replace it again we'll see later on but the idea is you guys need to pop the cover remove the filter so you guys can see the the liquid you know the brake liquid so when we start expanding the brake calipers or the pistons of the brake calipers we're gonna push brake fluid back to the tank so we have to make sure that we don't end up you know overflowing the tank so that's a note for you guys you know careful because you guys don't want to you know throw some brake fluid all over the place so without further ado let's start and uh jack the car already have the jack right here so jack the car up get the tires out and then i'm gonna show you whoopsie what's the next step so let's do it Okay guys, quick disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing as usual, so yeah, let's see how, how, how far we can get it. Um, <clears throat> the nut in the back it is number 13 millimeters, but first we need to remove the sensor. So right now we're doing the rear right, you know, behind the passenger seat, sensor is right here. So boom, sensor is out. I don't have my needle nose, I mean I couldn't find them, so yeah, I'm using these guys. So sensor is disconnected, now I'm going to remove the bolts. Okay, seems like there is a nut right here that I didn't see, so we're going to have to... This nut right there, let me see if this is going to work. Yep. Yeah, you guys can see it's spinning, so we need to find the wrench for it. Okay guys, so I don't know honestly what type it is, but the way how the bolt is put in, there is this washer on the back, and then the other side is the caliper itself, so it's blocking me to put the wrench. 
So it seems like we need some like a special tool. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna use my vice grip. That's gonna be my special tool. So we're just gonna lock it. See if it's gonna work, yep. And bolt is out. Now we're gonna go to the second one. And the second one is out. Okay. So now I need to release my handbrake because I have my handbrake engaged. So let me do that. Okay, I have my handbrake released. As you can see, it's kind of loose, but we need to pop this cover over here. There we go. Now, just push it out. What do you guys think? Seems like it's moving. Okay, before we pull it out, I'm gonna get my trusty hooks. Get my hooks probably like that, be my guess. Let's find out. Oh wow, super dirty. Maybe like that. Okay, we need to clean that. That's gonna happen in a little bit. Let's see, what is the deal over here? So the crazy thing is, the outside brakes, brake pads, you guys can see those are pretty, have pretty much a lot for the ones in the back. Yep, there you go. You guys can see the difference right there. Boom, boom. But let me show the new ones because I was hoping that, that the brakes going to be wear out. But so you guys, this is the old one. This is the Akibono one. You guys can see those are like pretty much close. And on the other side, it's kind of the same thing. So I might just keep this guy here. Actually, seems like I cannot. Man, this Mercedes. I'm telling you, if this thing can be swapped, and right now it cannot be swapped because of the sensor is right here. So yeah, that really sucks. So that's gonna go in the garbage. I'm gonna put the brand new Aki Bono ones. Yeah, buddy. Okay, but first thing, we need to clean all of this niceness right there. And we need to open up the cylinder. So this cylinder needs to be pushed out. Let me check and see because I have this electrical motor, I might actually need to engage it with my computer. So let me check that real quick. Okay guys, so I looked through the diagnostic tool that I have and uh, I don't see anything, you know, where this should be released or the electrical brake needs to be released. So. We should be careful, for sure, and see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do it slowly, but surely. That seems too hard. Okay guys, I guess. Let me check again. Okay guys, so, yep, obviously there is an option for it. I didn't know. I guess, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it right now. So first you guys need to get your key. Put your key into the ignition. Get it to position number one. Like that, I think, maybe. Maybe position number two, where the mileage shows and then we need to hit OK and the call button. I guess let me see if I can do that at the same time. I think the doors needs to be closed up. Let's try again. I believe position one, just like that. And then push the call and OK button. Okay had replacement right there hope you guys can see that hit ok position ok to cancel back ok ok you guys hopefully you guys hear that so fitting position reach to exit fitting hit ok oh man I shouldn't done that <laughs> ok oh man ok so let's do it again Okay, now we're retracting the brake calipers. Hope you guys can hear them. Yep, 
So now everything is blinking. And okay, so now take the key out and just leave it like that. The parking is gonna be on and the park is gonna blink. Now to get your key, of course. Okay, now everything is good. So now we should be able to retract our brake pads. Let's see if uh, this is true or not. Oh, yeah. Now it's so much easier. You guys can see I can do it just, you know, by one hand. It's actually getting even easier. Okay, now let's check our uh, brake fluid as well. So come over here. Okay, this little spider brake fluid is pretty good for right now so let's go back let's continue now we need to clean all of that let's check the fluid again should be maybe close maybe raised up a little bit right now it's good which is good so now Let's do some cleaning and then I'll show you what's the next step. Let's do it. Okay, now I think it's good and it's clean. So now it's uh, next step. Okay guys, so now for the next step, I'm gonna put a little bit of this brake quieter, I guess. I'm trying to clean it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Boom, right there. So I'm gonna put a link down below for all the stuff that I'm using in this video for you guys. But now, this is what we're gonna do. We have our new clips as well thank you FCP Euro so we're gonna pop this guy real quick check to make sure that everything is okay we're not scratching anything we're not rubbing on anything now this is the guy where it needs to be on the inside because of the sensor like I said this guy here doesn't have the little clip right there so now I prefer to get this brake quarter in here and in here I'm not gonna put anything on here because this is gonna be you know tight fit these clips seems like they're gonna lock in the brakes the brake pads hopefully you guys can see that you guys see that how it locks it so I hope there's not gonna be any vibration here but you're gonna have you know here and here a connection between these two guys would you have you know a back rubber thing right here and right here so that should eliminate everything but in the same time it doesn't hurt if we put a little bit of this guy so let me put that just like that then right here and my light is going out let me swap the battery real quick okay so we have a little bit there, a little bit here. I'm gonna spread out all of that. Boom. Same thing over here. Okay, it's all good. Now we're gonna put brake pad number one. I don't know how we're gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. We got in. Wow. Just a little bit of finance, you know? So this guy in the back, same thing, but a beam, but a boom. Okay, there you go guys. Brake pads are in. So now we should just slide this guy back into place. I don't know if I need to put some grease here, but it seems pretty good. Okay, maybe. <clears throat> like that. And boom. Oh man, mm, tell you, 
I'm telling you. Okay, I need to grab one more thing. And that is this thread lock blue. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Uh, slowly, boom, right there. Then the bottom, boom. Okay, and now I'm gonna put this bolt up here just so it will hold the, the brake pads. This is kind of getting ridiculous. So, for the bottom bolt, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does have a blue thing on it, so just a little bit. It's probably excessive. The bottom is good. Now the top, same thing. You guys know the deal. This is for real. <laughs> Almost there. So now we need to use our trusty vice grips. Grab the nut on the bottom. Boom. Now get bolt tight. Get the top. Tap is tight. Do the bottom one. And that should be pretty much good. Now we're gonna put our cover that I didn't clean. Clean that real quick. And now we need to put this guy there, this cable there. Now we're gonna get our new sensor right in here. Bada beam, bada boom. So this should be this way. I don't know why I didn't do it first time. As you can see, there is a hole right there. So this sensor basically needs to go in like that. So actually, I was putting it wrong. So it needs to go like that. Boom. That needs to be, I believe, something like that. And that should be it, guys. It's not moving. So, boom. We got this one as a success. Bam. Okay, guys. So now we're gonna do uh, the left side. But for you guys, it's gonna be super quick and easy because you know of the power of the video editing. And boom. Okay. Well, now this guy is done as well. It is loose, as you can see. So now, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and reset the brake again. And you guys can watch this, how this is retracting back again. So let me set you up guys, some place where it's more close. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this thing right here should retract. Like that okay so now again we're gonna go back up there and do the same thing the mute button and the call button so you can get to the hidden menu and do the fitting again and then hit ok and then this should retract okay guys let's see right now it is just a little bit loose because of course we don't have our brakes engaged right now so now when I hit the brake Okay, so now the brake is engaged. I hope you guys saw how this thing moved a little bit, but now it's all locked. So boom, there you go guys, have it. Okay guys, so right now, basically the only thing that's left is to pull the tires back in, drop the vehicle, go around the neighborhood, do a quick brake, you know, see if it's handling pretty good, and if it is, it's a success. I mean, obviously, everything looks, you know, the way how it's supposed to look. Everything got done the way how it's supposed to be done. Even that I didn't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm still doing it like I keep saying every single time. So, this, in my book, is a success. So, uh, once again, guys, don't forget, you know, if I can do it, you guys can do it. So, without further ado, don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys like videos like this and I totally forgot guys let me show you the brake fluid it's uh, almost back to normal uh, it seems like it's a little bit above the maximum so just get a syringe suck it out get the brake fluid out of the system I mean not all of it just enough so we can drop below the maximum right here and uh, yeah that's about it as of one two three boom there we go guys I'll see you on the next one. Bye.